This simulation imagines what it would be like to interact with a space probe, or a clock, near the event horizon of a black hole. This simulation is intrinsically very speculative. We really don't know what black holes will look like up close, and we can only imagine using our best physics models. So take the appearance of this with a grain of salt. The simulation begins in clock mode, which means we are observing a clock near the event horizon of a black hole. If the clock is far from the black hole, it runs at around the same rate as the one we are seeing close up. However, if we bring the clock in close, but not so close it is within the event horizon and we lose contact with it, then we see it runs slow. In strong gravitational fields, clocks run slow compared to outside of those fields, a consequence of general relativity. It is hard to explain the physics of this simply, but maybe one way to think about it this is that events, like the ticking of a clock, travel on paths through space-time. An object that looks like it is at rest to us perhaps can be thought of as moving through time. An object that is moving quickly through space appears to move more slowly through time. In a sense, you can quote-unquote move through space or through time or both, but the total amount is, in a way, conserved. The real thing that stays the same regardless of observer is called the space-time interval. This is pretty advanced physics. It might be tempting to think that the clock is running slow as some kind of optical illusion, but it is not. Time is actually passing more slowly in the strong gravitational field, and if the clock were somehow to emerge from nearby the hole and come back to Earth, it would be out of sync with the Earth clock. This is a real phenomenon, and it has been observed in the laboratory and in Earth orbit. By the way, you'll notice that the frequency slider doesn't function when we are looking at a clock. After all, what use is a clock that doesn't tick once per second, that is, at one hertz? So what happens if we replace the clock with a space probe? We communicate with space probes using radio wavelength light, as shown. Because the light is emitted at some fixed frequency at the probe, it appears to be at lower frequency, longer wavelength, as seen from outside the deep gravitational well around the black hole. In this sense, the light is said to be redshifted, and the phenomenon is known as gravitational redshift. We can adjust the frequency of the radio transmission using the slider. We can also adjust the mass of the black hole, expressed as a multiple of the mass of the sun, as well as the position of the probe. The observed frequency of the transmission changes as seen from Earth. So play around and see what you can figure out.